computer. Okay, we are recording. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I'm going to show you what to do when you got your brand new flipper in the mail and you want to start hacking like the best of them, but you don't even know where to start. So I got you. That's it. Okay, so first what you're going to need is your brand new flipper. You're going to probably want some kind of cover for it. Um, you're going to need a 32 gigabyte or smaller SD card. 32 gigabytes is way bigger than you need. Um, eight gigs is plenty. And then you're off for this operation. You're also going to need an SD card reader, yeah. something along these lines here. And then I always like to put a uh, screen cover on the flipper on Wait, the flipper yeah. screen. So that way if it gets dropped, you put it in your pocket, it doesn't get scratched, that kind of thing. Okay. So. And it doesn't break the flipper. Exactly. So let's start off by what? opening the flipper. <laughs> so. <clears throat> opening up the flipper. Please. Okay. So here we go. The first unopening of the slipper. There's a sticker. Yeah, comes with the stickers, right? Okay, so uh, one of the first things that a lot of people do is they'll just take the stuff out and they'll toss it. You don't want to do that, all right? Save this insert right here. Yeah. as well as the insert in here for the flipper, this um, foam insert. Hey, this thing looks pretty cool and clear, I gotta say. Oh, it's so, yeah. That... Isn't that pretty neat? Take a look at that. All right, so make sure you save the... Uh, Can I take off the thing that's going to This off? insert out of here because later on, you can 3D print yourself a uh, a case for it, and those inserts fit into it perfectly. So keep those. Um, yeah, it's got this little plastic screen cover on it. Go ahead, pull it off. Okay. All right, and now the very first thing that I like to do when getting a new flipper is, uh, and hopefully you ordered some of these. If you didn't see, when I ordered my flipper, they didn't have any screen covers um, available. So I ordered some off of Etsy. Um, I already have a pair on my other flipper. other flipper and it's been working great. So nothing wrong with using the aftermarket ones. Let me just go ahead and, and how put that? this on real quick off screen. I have Okay, so now we got the screensaver on the flipper. Okay, okay. let's pull the uh, silicone bumper out. And yeah. Get that guy taken care of now, real quick. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Can I take the garbage? Yeah, go ahead and toss that there. Can I put the box in the garbage too? No? no, don't throw away the box okay. because, like I said earlier, we're going to want to save the uh, insert that's inside of there along with the USB insert. And we're going to put that off to the side. And this box will probably be worth something one day if I decide to resell it. So I'm hanging on to this box as well. Okay. So now I'm going to want to go ahead and put the flipper inside the thing. That's, you know, it stretches. It's not hard to do. Ammo, ammo. Now it's in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so now let's get a USB uh, card out. No, not yet. Um, actually, before we go to the U should we set up the USB first or should we download the firmware first? Yeah, let's download the firmware first. Okay, so let's take our flipper. Let's plug it into our computer. And let's go to the internet and download QR Flipper. Yeah. So that way we can uh, program our flipper. 
Oh my goodness. All right. <clears throat> so let's search for Q Flipper. Q Flipper. Yeah. All right. Flipper firmware update via Q Flipper. Download Q Flipper. Mm -hmm. Install Q Flipper. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to cancel this because I already have it, but that's how you would download it. Then once it's downloaded, click on it, install it. Okay, once it's installed, um, you can go ahead and find it in your apps. Yeah. Mm. Okay, it must have ran right past it. Right here, Cube Flipper. Click on that. Connect. Now it shows that we are connected. So now let's go to uh, Discord. Mm -hmm. Starring update, so Discord's always got updates for the all right, so now let's go to the extreme Discord. Let's uh, zip on down here to the very bottom. They got a brand new firmware out just yesterday. Fantastic. Let's download this. Download firmware. Be easy. All right. See that that's downloaded. Okay, so now let's, and now you don't have to have this particular firmware to run on your flipper, but if you want to be able to do all the cool things that you see on all my YouTube videos, then you're going to want the development build for uh, Extreme because it, it gives you all the newest functions that just aren't available anywhere else. So, okay, now once you've got that downloaded, let's head back over here to, um, yeah, Era Nursey. Aaron Nursery? Aaron Nursery? Aaron Nursery is what this one's called. Interesting. Okay, so now let's uh, install some file here. We're going to update it. And let's see what the newest one was. 1019, that's the day. Okay, so the one at the top is the latest. We're going to click on that. Open. Install. Mm -hmm. An unknown error. I've heard. Oh. Oh, that's right. I forgot. The very first time you need to install the uh, real flipper. Forgot about that. Okay, so now let's go back. Oops, not there. Back to Q Flipper. I shut it down and I shut it down. Okay, let's get back to Q Flipper. Okay, so the very first time we just need to do the regular update. Oh, please install an SD card for updating the firmware. That makes sense. So let me grab one of my 32 gigabyte SD cards. Pull it out. But you have your... Stick it inside the flipper here. Okay. I have another question. Yeah, what's up? If, if, if you just have the flipper, the new flipper, and you don't have the USB card in it, would it work? Would it still work? No. Yeah. Would it or no? Yeah. If you put a different SD card in it from a different flipper, like from the other no, flipper. I'm, I'm but it just has to have the same firmware. Oh. Yeah. Let's update this. Okay. We're updating the flipper firmware with the latest. OEM flipper firmware. All right, so now it has successfully updated. I'll hit continue. And now let's go ahead and install from file that file that we just downloaded a minute or two ago. Call that. <clears throat> now we are updating the to the newest development version of Extreme. So the latest dev build of Extreme firmware. Right. This is what's going to allow us to do the jamming and the and the mouse jacking and use all the cool peripherals that you can't use with the regular firmware and all that good stuff. 
As you can tell, this one takes a little bit longer to install because there's a lot more to it. All right, it's all done. I can unplug it. Can you even see it? Oh, yeah, okay. Now the journey begins. I don't think you can see it. It's uh, it's just all over my face. If I plug it in, does it show it on the screen? Let's try it. Yeah, there we go. Now your journey begins. All right. Just kind of um, showing us our way around the system. Oh, okay. cool. So now everything's all set. All right. So now we're all ready to go. We've got everything installed. Um, but now we need all the files because, well, we don't have any of the files to do any of the cool stuff, right? Uh, we could run like the spam app, like that's here and oh, cool. we could like, but we can't like pop open Tesla's because we don't have those files. We can't, um, you know, ring people's doorbells or our own doorbells or, you know, do any of that other stuff. Um, in this house, we don't, I don't think we have a door. No, but we, you know, how you open up the trash floor? That can be done with a flipper. Yeah. And you know how I turn on all the utilities around the house? I use the flipper, like the lights outside, I turn the flipper on with it. I can turn on my fan and my heater and everything else with the flipper. You can do that, right? I mean, I control the lights and all that good stuff. Okay, so for that, we're going to need to go download the files. Those files can be found on the internet again. Really? Yeah. So let's go and find those files. Let's go to www.damnedmodders.com. <clears throat> All right. And from here, we're going to go to the Flipper Zero. Logs. All right, and right up here at the top, um, pinned right here at the very uh, beginning of the post is my latest update for the Flipper Zero SD card. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and download that. Okay. Members means you belong. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and download that. Download anyways, 1.5 gigabytes. Download anyways, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go back here and cancel it because obviously I uploaded it, so I don't need to download it. But what I'm going to do then is right here I have the file. Okay. Here I have it unzipped. All right. So now what I have to do is I have to unplug my flipper. I have to take the SD card out of the flipper because to do this using QR flipper takes forever. Yeah, so turn off your flipper and take your SD card out. Okay. Once you've done that, stick the SD card into the reader. These little leaves, these things are small. I can barely hold it in my fingers. Okay. Stick that into the computer. Yes, you do. All right, and now we have all of the files. Wait, is this on? Okay, all these files are already on my SD card because it is what came out of a formatted flipper. 
So I'm going to minimize this window. Okay. And then let's open up. folder, the file that I just unzipped. Let me copy all of these and drag them over into the USB drive. And allow all that to copy. That's about 35 minutes, so... Yeah. Oh, that? Probably have to fast forward this for you guys. So one hour later. Let's have breakfast. So All right. So now here we are at the point where <clears throat> you're going to see uh it's gonna ask you if you want to replace the files in the destination. I always just hit skip these files because that means you already have them. So why would you want to recopy them again, correct? So skip these files, just let it finish and then that way it's done, okay? Now that we have, uh, now let's go verify that all the files are there. USB drive, everything's there. Um, let's go into the gigahertz. Yes, all the files are in here now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pop this uh, Flipper SD card that I was copying everything to. Let's eject that. All right. And now let's go ahead and unplug it from the computer. Now that it's safe. All right, unplugged it. Let's take the little SD card out of it. Stick that into the new flipper. Turn the thing on. And we have a fully functional, ready to kick butt. Don't know if you can read that, but DLE spam, all ready to go. This thing's ready to rock and roll right out of the package. Haven't even had it for an hour yet, and I'm ready to start popping Teslas and doing. Uh, spam attacks on Androids and uh, Windows laptop computers and Apple phones. You can even fully lock up, fully jam up and shut down um, Apple phones that are on, uh, what is it, iOS 17 or above. So that's always fun stuff to do. So uh, yeah, I think that's about it, right? From Start the finish. We've got everything installed and ready to go. So now uh, all you need to do is get out there and uh, start yeah. having fun. Use the darn thing, right? So um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, remember to check out www.dammedmodders and uh, join the, the blog. So that way uh, I can communicate with you if you have any questions just go ahead and drop a question on there or in the comments here and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible and this is how you use a flipper wheel how to start up a flipper wheel thank you eddie